hallo meine lieben Zuschauer und herzlich willkommen zu einer neuen Folge zu Fire Emblem Engage. Wenn euch das Video gefällt, dann lasst ein Abo und ein Like da und ich wünsche euch jetzt viel Spaß mit dem Video. Ja moin Leute ne? und herzlich willkommen zurück zu einer weiteren Folge von Fire Emblem Engage. Ja, die Hauptstory haben wir beim letzten Mal abgeschlossen und heute ist das DSC dran, beziehungsweise ab heute. Ja, soweit ich das von den zusätzlichen Inhalten gelesen habe, sind schon gekauft, an dem Punkt angemerkt. Äh, ich muss gleich zum Brunnen, dann wird das getriggert. Und wir haben dann so ungefähr sechs äh, Schauplätze dann vor uns, beziehungsweise sechsmal Kämpfe. Also sechs Folgen äh, wird das DSC wahrscheinlich lang sein. Die wird es alle diese Woche geben. Und ich würde sagen, ich drücke jetzt einfach erstmal auf Fortsetzen. So. Das sind meine Erweiterungspass-Bonis. Offenbar jeden Wert könnte ich erhöhen. Dann hier noch ein paar Waffen, Bücher äh, und zum Craft noch Zeug. Drei Ringe, Alphonse, Sharina und Anna. Und drei legendäre Waffen. Die gucke ich mir auch sofort an. Wie gesagt, ich weiß, dass ich zum Brunnen dafür müsste. Da steht ja auch neues Ereignis, wenn ich hier X drücke. Aber erstmal gucke ich mir jetzt die Waffen an, die ich gerade bekam. Äh, eins war ein Schwert, Volk haben, äh, Volk Wangre. Das Schwert von Alphons, Prinz von Aske. Scheint offenbar schon einen starken Wert zu haben. Wenn die Einheit bei Beginn des Zuges weniger als 50% KP hat, Angriff plus 3. Okay. Wie sieht die Lanze aus? Okay. Angriff minus 2 für benachbarte Gegner zu Beginn der Spielerphase. Okay, auch eine fiese Waffe. Und wenn die Einheit bei Beginn des zu Bewegungsplus ein, wenn die Einheit bei Beginn des Zuges max 40% KMP hat. Darf ich dann nur unterhalb von 40% sein oder muss ich drüber sein? Ich kann mir ja auch noch die Ringe anschauen. Die müssen ja auch in meinem Inventar sein. Muss die dann jetzt nur eben suchen. Ah, hier, besondere Ringe des Bandes. Ja, die Werte sind irgendwie nicht ganz so geil. Aber äh, offenbar können sie die boosten, also die Charaktere, die nebenan stehen. Aber trotzdem nicht besser als die Emblemringe, würde ich tatsächlich sagen. Na gut, ich wandere jetzt gleich zum Brunnen. Ich sage aber vorher hier mal an der Stelle, äh, über mir sind ich mal wieder ein Zeitstempel, wenn ihr die Bandgespräche des heutigen Tages überspringen wollt. Ich versuche in den nächsten Folgen dann hauptsächlich äh, mit den neuen Emblemen, die ich jetzt geschenkt bekomme, äh, die Emblemgespräche zumindest zu machen. Also ja, wir sehen uns dann gleich wieder, sobald ihr die Gespräche hinter euch habt. Hm. Hortensia? I wanted to tell you that I... I'd like us to be friends. So... I wonder if we could talk? I have nothing to say to you. Oh. My father is dead because of you. Why would I want to be friends? It doesn't matter to me if you were controlled or whatever and now you're back to normal. I'll never forget the sight of you laughing as you watched my father die. So please, just... leave me alone. I... I've wanted so badly to apologize for that. Illusia should never have allowed worship of the Fell Dragon. His power, though, much as I hate to admit it, I do envy that. If I'd been born with what he has, what you have, my father would still be alive. Be glad you weren't born a Fell Dragon. It's a life full of fear, pain, and persecution. I wish I had been born human. To me, That life seems so much more... bearable. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it's terrible. Poor thing. We'll never be friends, Vale. Goodbye. Dragon, dragon, dragon! You are a real dragon! Do you know how cool that is? I mean, how cool you are? So, so, so cool! Um, I am a dragon. But I'm a fell dragon. Not a divine dragon. Aren't you 
Afraid of me? Not at all. Honestly, I'm just so happy I have this chance to talk with you, Lady Vale. Oh, I see. It's just strange because most people are frightened of me. Or dislike me. Well, I'm from a small village, so I can't help but admire unique people and unusual things. And I could never dislike a being I admire as much as I do you. I am unique and unusual, I suppose. I'm sorry, does it bother you that I approached you like this? No, I don't mind. I think perhaps you are... unusual in your own way, aren't you? Me? Unusual? You could say that, I guess. That makes us the same, doesn't it? Oh! I'm so sorry, Lady Vale. That was awfully presumptuous of me. I shouldn't have said that. No, it's fine. I was just a bit surprised, to be honest. I'm happy you thought I might be similar to... a human, Marin. Why don't we be friends? Two unusual people who found one another. Lady Vale, can I have a moment? Yes, of course. As a man of the church, I worship the Divine Dragon. So I was wondering, can I pray to you too? I think that's a good idea. Why not? You're a dragon, aren't you? Dragons are sacred creatures. It's natural for humans to worship them. Yes, I understand. But I'm not a divine dragon. I'm a fell dragon. As a cleric who worships the divine dragon, wouldn't it be wrong for you to worship me? A divine dragon? Fell dragon? A distinction without a difference. But you must know what I've done. Your fellow worshippers would turn on you if you started praying to someone like me. No. Solm is an open-minded queendom. When they see me praying to you, others will follow suit. Just you watch. Oh, I... I don't think that's a good idea. You're overthinking it. Trust me on this. But... what if you're wrong? <laughs> Mavier? Are you still on guard duty? It's so late! I'll take over so you can get some rest. There is no need. The lateness of the hour is not of any concern. Really? Wow, I've got to hand it to you. Why is that? You've been standing at attention for who knows how long. Don't you need a break? Keeping guard is more important than resting. Whoa, you can't say that! You've got to take a real break! There is no need. Resting is a waste of time. Okay, you're starting to scare me. How do you shake off your fatigue? Fatigue is no issue. What? What are you, one of the corrupted or something? Enough joking around. It's my shift, so I'll take over from here. For real. No, thank you. Oh, come on, man. I didn't want to do this, but I'll have to relieve you by force. What is wrong? I think I pulled a muscle. <laughs> it looks like you're the one who needs to rest. <laughs> I can't... I can't stop. <laughs> oh, my sides. Prince Diamond, are you okay? Am I okay? You almost killed me. Your writing is hazardous to my health, Jade. It's an unexpected honor to have my storytelling threaten the Crown Prince's life. Which part are you on? Chapter 19 of The Adventures of Amber, The Deliberate Dummy. Ah, so you're at the part where Amber just won the fighting tournament. Yes, and he returned to his hometown to celebrate his victory, but no one believed him. And then, the scene where he rides his mighty alpaca through the open fields to dry his tears. As soon as he dismounts, his eyes finally dry, the alpaca spits right in his face. Poor Amber. This isn't just a funny novel, Jade. This book is art. Tell me, when will the next one be ready? Well, I wanted to talk to you about that. I might take a break from writing, just for a while. Oh, really? I think I understand. Our battles are growing more intense. Not much we can do about that. Yes, that's certainly a factor, but... 
Lately, no matter what I write, it all feels flat to me. I'm bored by my own ideas. Ah, so you're in a bit of a slump. Yes, I need to rest my pen for a while. I'm sorry if this news disappoints you, Prince Diamant. No need to apologize. I'm an eager yet patient reader. Take as long as you need. Thank you very much. If I start writing again, I'll let you know. If anything, I'm glad to hear you'll be giving yourself a break. In the meantime, why don't I write the next book? Huh? Don't worry. I won't step on your work. It'll be more like uh, a side story. I'd enjoy the challenge. Uh, you're serious about this? I'm always serious. I'll let you know when it's done. You just relax until then. Yes, understood. <sighs> That's the most concerned I've ever seen you look, Diamant. Oh, Divine One. I apologize. Didn't think anyone else was here. What's that you're holding? This is a medal my father gave me a while back. A commendation from the king. From King Morian. I was with our troops during an intense battle against Illusia. We found ourselves surrounded. We needed to make a quick retreat, so I took command out of sheer desperation. When we returned, father gave me this medal. It felt like the first time he saw me as a leader. But occasionally, I wonder. Was it my leadership that got us home? Or was it pure luck? Perhaps I didn't earn this. So... Even the Crown Prince of Brodia suffers through moments of self-doubt. Sorry to shatter the illusion. To protect my country's reputation, I must insist you keep this conversation private. Of course. You saw me in a vulnerable moment with that corrupted soldier, so let's call it even. But I will say one thing. Hmm. Knowing that you do have a vulnerable side makes me feel a bit closer to you. Vulnerability isn't always a bad thing. You're a peculiar leader, Divine One. Thanks, Divine One. You really saved my bacon. I was happy to help. I will say, I wasn't expecting our picnic to turn into a two-person raid on the bandit's hideout. Really? That's how most of my picnics go, to be honest. When you invited me, you said we'd be eating meat together. And I was telling the truth! You got a nice big helping, right? Yes, I was stuffed. I only wish you had said something like, I found the bandits camp, so let's barge in, take them out, and then grill up some meat. That would have been more, you know, accurate. <laughs> so wordy, though. My way was much more concise. That's one way to look at it. Still, you never cease to amaze. You take it upon yourself to help root out bandits. What, is that not normal? I'm just protecting my people. I thought that's what royalty was supposed to do. You say something completely radical like it's the most obvious thing in the world. <laughs> that's my charm. It was our destiny to fight beside one another, Roy. To celebrate? I'd like to show you a dance. I'm honored, Seedal. I'm told you're a superb dancer. At last, I get to see for myself. You handled that last battle well, Alchrist. <sighs> Are you saying that I'm not challenging myself enough? I'll work much harder next time. I long for my hometown sometimes, and I miss allies from the Long War, especially my friend. What sort of person was this friend? Wait, don't tell me. I picture a beautiful Pegasus Knight. My younger sister thinks me quite slovenly. I have tried to improve myself, alas. If anything, you're too uptight. My dad traipses around the queendom without a worry. Try it.
If you and I combined our strength, Lord Roy, no one could possibly beat us. So let's do it! I like the confidence, Fram. Just never let your guard down, all right? I get to fight beside Brodia's national treasure. Ah, oh, what an honor. I'm looking forward to this, Roy. No need to be that humble, Lapis. We both fight for peace. And I'm looking forward to it as well. So, ich stehe jetzt hier beim Brunnen. Ich weiß nicht, ob ich ihn ansprechen muss oder hinlaufen muss. Deswegen stehe ich noch hier hinten. Ich habe ihn schon mal aus dem Bild gepackt für eventuelle Sequenzen. Okay, es reicht aus, wenn ich hingehe. Divine One, we have been getting reports lately of a strange presence coming from this well. I have not been able to find anything unusual about it, but perhaps you should investigate. Du kannst die Dämonenwelt über den alten Brunnen betreten. Diese musst du jedoch nicht in einem Stück durchführen, sondern kannst zwischen den Kapellen zur Welt der Hauptstory zurückkehren. Zudem verfügt die Dämonenwelt über einen vom Hauptspiel unabhängigen Schwierigkeitsgrad. Ich überlege, ob ich den Schwierigkeitsgrad eventuell hochstellen soll, weil in der Beschreibung vom DSC stand, ab welchem Punkt man das freischaltet. Das äh, ist nämlich so ab dem 6. bzw. 8. Kapitel und es könnte sein, dass wir stark überlevelt für diese Charaktere sind. Deswegen würde ich eventuell den Schwierigkeitsgrad um einen höher stellen. Ich mache mal den Schwierigkeitsgrad auf schwer. Weil ich bin wirklich der Meinung, wir könnten sonst eventuell überlevelt sein. Wenn nicht, kann ich es ja wieder runterstellen. Faced one way. A thousand years separation. The other way. A hundred years regret. Pray. Dream of my sorrow. Pray. Dispel the darkness from this world. The only light here is in memory. And the hope you instilled flickers. Alas, I know the truth. In this world, there is no salvation. In this world, there is no you. Where am I? This isn't the Somniel. Who are you? I am... no. It is no matter. My name lost its meaning long ago. But... I have this strange feeling. As if the two of us have met somewhere. We have never met before. Not in any way you would understand. I'm speaking to you from across a mirror. You are my reflection. And my land's last hope. Please, I need your assistance. Will you save those who are important to me? Of course. I'll help however I can. Really? You accept my plea without hearing what it entails? <laughs> I suppose I feel like helping you might ease some of my own anxieties. Almost as if this is a chance to get back something that I lost a long time ago. In short. Yes, I'm here for you. I'm glad to hear you say so. I was afraid you would refuse, since I'm unable to explain all the details. Suffice to say that the land I speak of is threatened by a foe with a wicked heart. The only hope for my people is for you to collect the seven bracelets. Bracelets? In my world, emblems dwell inside bracelets. You will need them in order to succeed. Now. I will transport you there. Those you encounter after arriving will guide you. Will you and I meet again? We will not. Nor have we ever met. Not even in this very moment. You speak so cryptically. Still, I get the feeling I will see you again. Be off now. I thank you, and wish you good fortune in the battles ahead.
Goodbye, my fellow divine dragon, my twin from another world. On your journey, I hope you feel joy, suffering, sorrow, and love, because I will feel nothing anymore. I will never awaken again. <laughs> so bright. Sister, it worked. Our prayers are answered. After all these long years, at last our savior has come. <laughs> you. Is that? Where am I? You are in Lethos Castle. We have long awaited your arrival. Thank you for answering our prayers. I am Nell, one of the dragons who resides here. And I am Nil, her twin brother. It's nice to meet you, Nell. And you, Nil. I'm the Divine Dragon. Huh? So you are the Divine Dragon. Fate has made a cruel and mysterious choice. <clears throat> it is such a joy to see you reborn. Reborn? What does that... The Divine Dragon is deceased. You fell in the last war. Our world has been consumed by darkness in the time since. We have long prayed for a savior to aid us. And your appearance seems to be our answer. It is unfortunate. I would have preferred never to see you again. No! But we are in desperate need of aid. And we do not have the luxury of choice. I will speak no more of it. Please follow me. I'm so sorry, Divine One. She is rather more upset by this than I would have expected. She and the Divine Dragon have a somewhat complicated history. This is the Bracelet Vault. Here, our emblem bracelets are kept secure. I see. Upon that pedestal lies the bracelet of the Shepherd Exalt. It is the sole bracelet in our possession. The emblems within it are safely in slumber. There are seven bracelets in total. We lost the other six in the war with Sombron. So, he exists in your world as well. I will explain from the beginning. The first dragons were born millennia ago, and from them came the divine and fell dragons. For a time, there was peace until the fell dragons turned to conquest and destruction. With the world under threat, the divine dragons and the people prayed for salvation. And that salvation came in the form of beings from other worlds known as emblems. The emblems were manifestations of those ardent prayers for peace. My sister and I were performing that ancient rite when you arrived. We thought a new emblem would appear to save us. And you got me. Yes, it was quite the shock. I'm still a bit beside myself. The emblems brought an end to the fighting, but only temporarily. A thousand years ago, Sombron sought to exploit the emblems for his own ambitions. We experienced that war firsthand. It was awful. The entire continent became a battlefield. The dragons and the royal families fought over the emblems until all sides were exhausted. But as we stood upon the brink of annihilation, the Divine Dragons won a key victory. Lumera, the Divine Dragon Monarch, imprisoned Fell Dragon Sombron at the cost of her life. My mother died a thousand years ago? Her sacrifice bestowed peace upon the people even as they mourned her passing. But it was her successor who healed the wounded land and returned it to prosperity. Her successor? You mean the next Divine Dragon Monarch? Yes. You. <gasps> the Divine Dragon Monarch after Lumera was her own begotten child. So I took the throne after she died. This is so different from the history of my world. <laughs> you are a wonderful ruler. Under your reign, it seems like the world would be at peace for the rest of time. But it was not to be. Sombron eventually returned, and another war began. Whosoever gathers all seven of the Awakened Emblems will be granted immense power. Sombron intended to use that power to exact revenge and restore the Fell Dragon's honor. To achieve that end, he was willing to set the whole world ablaze. And I take it I lost this war. 
No, not exactly. You and Sombron each slew the other. On the night of the decisive clash, you and he perished at the same moment. So the Fell Dragon is already gone? Then who is it that's putting your world in danger now? An unknown malefactor is attempting to fulfill the late Sombron's ambitions. They come and go without a trace. We know nothing of their whereabouts or appearance. All we know for sure is that, like Sombron, this individual wants to collect the seven bracelets. In fact, we believe they already have two. One in Letho's castle, two in enemy hands. Where are the other four? Each of the four nations of Elios possesses one. They once fought under a single banner, but that changed drastically after your death. Now, with nothing to unite them, the little ones, the humans, bicker among themselves. Thus far, they have kept one another in check, but war could break out at any moment. I don't know if the Divine Dragon's army was ever truly united. I saw them argue, in this very castle, about which nation was to blame for your death. Which is absurd, of course. It was no one's fault. Now that our savior has arrived, it is imperative we reclaim the bracelets. The conflict we have avoided for years will soon be inevitable. You may need to cross blades with people who resemble your own friends and allies. I understand. I'll brace myself for that possibility. <sighs> So, you're both divine dragons like me? What gave you that impression? You said you were dragons, and you live in Letho's castle, so I just assumed. Your assumption is incorrect. Uh, what she means, divine one, is that we... Watch out! Assassins! Nell! She's a fell dragon! My brother and I both. In this world, fell dragons are born as twins. We severed ties with our father during the last war. We now fight against our misguided kin. I cannot transform, but that does not stop me from fighting at Nell's side. Fell dragon twins. I suppose I simply assumed that you would already know what we were. It seems I was mistaken. If you will not aid us, you may leave. We will defend this world ourselves. No. I'll fight with you. I don't care about your heritage. If you truly want to protect this world, I'll be your ally. Oh, that's a relief. Now, let us march into battle together. Just like the good old days. Show us your medal, Divine One. We shall see if you are truly the answer to our prayers. Okay. Also helfen mir jetzt hier gerade Dämonen Drachen oder helfen mir jetzt hier eigentlich den Guten? Jedenfalls, ich lese da, die Klassen und Level sind hier vorbestimmt in dem Modus. Auch die Items, okay. Okay. Nell ist eher im Hintergrund, okay. So. Hier ist jetzt eine Axtkämpferin auf Level 15, aber alles andere bleibt so wie es ist, beispielsweise bei ihr hier. Ja, sie dann nehme ich auf jeden Fall mit. Äh, ich guck mal eben kurz das Schlachtfeld an. Bin auch ich vorbestimmt? Ja. Okay, dann ist der Schwierigkeitsgrad wahrscheinlich eigentlich relativ egal. Ändert dann offenbar nichts. Guck mal, er hat auch ein Emblem, der hier. Ich glaube, ich weiß auch, welches das ist, weil ich weiß äh, durch die Infos, welche Embleme da äh, drin sind. Na gut, ich muss jetzt aber erstmal meine Truppen anpassen. Also, ein bisschen ein paar Sekunden. 
Okay, Leute, meine Truppen sind angepasst. Ich habe jetzt Wehl und äh, Framme dabei. Framme, damit wir einen Heiler hier haben, weil keiner von den beiden kann offenbar einen Stab tragen. Er hat einen Stab bei sich, aber er kann ihn nicht nutzen, warum auch immer. Und den beiden habe ich auch schon Embleme gegeben. Ich kann ihr Inventar nicht anpassen. Ich habe ihr mal Sigurd gegeben, weil sie mit einer Lanze rumrennt und ihm mal beide, weil er dabei stand, dass er eher ein, ein Supporter ist als ein Kämpfer. Ja. Ich habe von allen anderen Einheiten mal das Inventar einfach in den Vorrat geschmissen, damit ich für die beiden eventuell gleich noch ausstatten kann. Ich würde aber sagen, let's go. The enemy has most likely come for the bracelet of the shepherd exalt. We must stop them here before they can reach its location. Okay. <lacht> Diese Stimme kommt mir bekannt vor. Ich weiß, glaube ich, wer das ist. Das, das klingt wie ein ganz bestimmter Prinz, der nie wie ein Prinz wirkt. So, dann kann ich ja direkt hier am Anfang direkt mit Seraphim loslegen. Äh, Emblem Zellika kann ich halt nutzen, weil ja, am Ende gehe ich sowieso auf Bündnis Plus. So, mehr konnte ich hier ohne nicht machen. You can lift the Fang's curse with my restore stuff. Luch? Give it to someone who can use it. Wir wissen, den verzerrten Wolf belegt das Opfer des äh, Angriffs mit den Status Effekt verfluchte Reißzähne. Jeder Angriff mit verfluchte Reißzähne reduziert die maximalen KP der betroffenen Einheit um 5. Dieser Effekt addiert sich mit jedem Treffer und hält für den Rest der Schlacht an. Es sei denn, man entfernt ihn mit einem neuen Schlag. Was für ein fieses Vieh. Also, ich will das direkt loswerden. Das habe ich jetzt gerade rausgehört. So, dann mache ich dich auch mal mit Seraphim weg, ne? So, kommt her. Was macht diese Landkugel? Daneben! Tschüss. Ich brauche mich eigentlich gar nicht darauf konzentrieren, die äh, kleinen Pestbeulen wegzumachen. Ich kriege hier eh keine XP und ich kriege auch keine Banderfahrung irgendwie. Naja, nichtsdestotrotz kann ich den Wolf ja ruhig wegmachen. So, ich würde hier gerne mal Echo nutzen. Dann kann ich, glaube ich, beide Gegner hier vernichten. Das wäre Nummer 1. Und dann schieße ich den zweiten auch direkt über den Haufen. Ich will mal diesen dunklen Funken sehen. Ich stelle mich jetzt extra hier hin und will den dunklen Funken jetzt mal ausgerüstet hier sehen. Ich habe keine Ahnung, was der macht. Oder was er da gerade macht. Okay, ich weiß safe, welches Emblem das ist. Weil ich habe die Emblemliste gesehen. Das ist Emblem Tiki. Hat der Wolf da gerade ein extra Leben bekommen oder hatte ich was an den Augen? Ach, das ist der dunkle Funke. Ich werde zum Drachen. Geilo. Ich täusche mich nicht, der hat ein extra Leben bekommen. Okay. Am besten, ich ziehe dir direkt einfach ein Leben mal weg. Ah, ich sehe da gerade was, Leute. Dafür, dass der Wolf jetzt gerade tatsächlich ein extra Leben bekommen hat, scheint der Boss kein extra Leben mehr zu haben. 
Weil ich habe gesehen, dass er gerade eben noch eins hatte. Aber jetzt hat er es nicht mehr. So, dann nehme ich dir jetzt mal das eine Leben weg. Ich werfe dir einfach ein Speer ins Gesicht. Weg mit dem extra Leben. Und der nächsten Runde kann ich dann auf Bündnis Plus gehen. Habe ich einen Crit? Nein. Ich habe aber diesen ekelhaften Reißern-Effekt, glaube ich, jetzt drauf. Ne, offenbar nur, wenn er angreift. Fiesling. Der packt ihm wirklich jedes Mal wieder ein extra Leben drauf. Hör auf damit. So, ich werfe dir mal den Speer ins Gesicht. Dann ist das Leben schon mal weg. Kennt ihr schon meine Waffe Oligoludia? Also das Emblem, was er hat, ist auf jeden Fall ein reiner Supporter. Ja, da war es gerade im Leben Tiki. Ich hab's gesehen. Den Wolf ignoriere ich einfach mal und mach das hier. Hochgehen, dahin, Zayonacher. Are you the divine dragon? Yes. And I'll be taking back that bracelet now. Diese Schlacht war echt kurz. Ich gehe schon mal aus dem Bild. Ich versuche mich bei ne, diesem DLC übrigens jetzt wirklich komplett darauf zu konzentrieren, einfach nur auf den Boss zu gehen. Ah, oh, they got away. I was hoping we would finally learn their identity. At least we got back the bracelet they were carrying. That's the bracelet of the ancestor. It seems different since we last laid eyes on it. Hmm. Maybe this emblem can tell us about their time in enemy hands. I'll summon them again so we can talk. Huh? That's strange. What? The invocation isn't coming to me. Perhaps it's because I'm in a new world? But that's no good. Summoning emblems is what a divine dragon does. Divine Dragon? I'm Tiki. Are you a Divine Dragon? Like me? Well... Impossible! Emblems in this state shouldn't be able to speak. Hello, Emblem Tiki. I might be able to summon you again, but your invocation isn't coming to me. Do you know it? I don't know anything about an invocation. <sighs> My head feels fuzzy. It hurts. Please, don't make me fight anymore. I don't like hurting people. You need not act against your will. Allow me to return you to peaceful slumber. You can do that? I can indeed. But I am unfamiliar with this summoning power of which you speak. The divine dragon of this world was able to cleanse fallen emblems. It would seem that you cannot do the same. So I will send Emblem Tiki to rest. In slumber, she will be safe from those who would exploit her power. No longer will she be compelled to fight. You might say we are containing her power in the bracelet. Sadly, 
Since we lack the ability to awaken emblems, she cannot aid us any further. It sounds like our only option right now. Please, go ahead. Whatever benefits there might be to keeping her awake, I won't force her to fight. Tiki? I hope we'll meet again someday. I'd like that. When we do, let's play together lots, okay? <laughs> Absolutely. Farewell, Emblem Tiki. Sweet dreams. <sighs> night, night. Now, so long as we keep her away from the enemy, she will be able to rest. Thank you, Nell. We place our emblems into slumber as a matter of course, to prevent their exploitation. Emblem Tiki was thus asleep when she was taken, but she returned to us awake. Our foe must therefore possess the power to awaken emblems. Only divine and fell dragons can control them in that way. There are no divine dragons left in this world. So that means our enemy is a fell dragon, one of our siblings, in other words. If it's a sibling of yours, then do you have any idea who it could be? We have many brothers and sisters, but we're not acquainted with all of them. Many died in the most recent war. There is no telling which of them survived. The power to control emblems is rare. If we knew the culprit, we would surely recall. Perhaps this child was born after we left Sombron. ...or develop this power late. Dragon powers are unpredictable. I cannot transform myself or control emblems at all. Sombron deemed me a failure. If I had stayed with him... ...I would probably be dead by now. How awful! I managed to survive only because Nell took me with her when she left. <sighs> it angers me to think that our siblings could be behind this. To be given that kind of power, only to use it for evil. What a waste. Nil. <laughs> uh, sorry. It's not my intention to poison the mood. So, Divine One, our objective is to put an end to the ambitions of Sombron's mysterious heir. Since we are fighting to return the emblems to slumber, they will not be able to help us. Knowing this, it is your choice whether or not to join our cause. What say you? Yes, I'll help. <gasps> Splendid! It is such a comfort to have you on our side, isn't it, Nell? After what I saw in that battle, I must agree. But I will remain unsettled by the necessity of fighting alongside this... dead dragon. Oh, I unsettle you, do I? Please, there is no need to quarrel! Why don't the two of you shake hands and agree to be friends from now on? I decline. Then I guess I'll pass, too. <laughs> you could at least try to get along. Before we depart the castle, Nil, we should say our farewells. Oh, agreed. I didn't know anyone else was in the castle. Is it a person I know? You are welcome to come find out. But what you see may upset you. Hmm. It looks to be a monument of some kind. This is the resting place of the Divine Dragon. Your grave. <laughs> I did warn you. We will be just a moment, Divine One. You can go back if you like. Actually, do you mind if I say something? I'd like to speak to my other self, who lived here with you. I think that would be a lovely gesture. Visiting my own gravestone. Not something I ever thought I'd do. I can see why Nell is unsettled by... this... situation. Hmm. I promise to fulfill your role, and protect those important to you as best I can. And with that, my reflection... Goodbye. <gasps> Why can't I turn into a dragon like you and father? There, there. You may someday. <laughs> I'm a failure. I'm weak. No, Nell. You are strong. Surely you will be able to transform eventually. 
When? Not even father can say for sure. But until then, hold on to this. <gasps> Your Dragonstone? But you won't be able to transform without it. I can if you carry it for me. And I know you will always be by my side. We are two halves of a whole, Nell. This power is ours to share. <sighs> Our power. Okay, die Weltkarte der Bodenwelt. Die Dämonenwelt verfügt über ihre ganz eigene Weltkarte, die du im Verlauf der Hand nur erkundet ist. Mit Hilfe des Weltkartenmenüs kannst du zum Somnier oder zu der Weltkarte der Hauptstory zurückkehren. In Gebieten, die du bereits abgeschlossen hast, erscheinen außerdem von Zeit zu Zeit Gefechte, die du beschreiten kannst. Sobald du eine Karte des Erweiterungspasses abgeschlossen hast, kannst du die Schlacht erneut als Erinnerung bestreiten. Du kannst diese Erinnerung so oft du magst wiederholen mit jeder beliebigen Kombination aus Verbündeten. Für diese Art von Schlachten erhältst du jedoch weder Erfahrung noch Items. Items und der verbündeten Status werden danach zurückgesetzt. Also eigentlich, was äh, XP-Technik angeht, komplett useless. Ich mach mal kurz die freie Kamera. Ich glaube, die Anordnung der Kontinente ist auch leicht anders. Irgendwie so um 90 Grad gedreht. Aber nach links. Na gut, wie gesagt, ich weiß, dass die Story nicht besonders lang ist von der Dämonenwelt. Soweit ich das weiß, nur sechs Schlachten. Auf jeden Fall, Leute. Beim nächsten Mal geht es dann mit Dämonenwelt 2, Grüner Garten, weiter. Wahrscheinlich vier, ne? Würde ich jetzt auf den ersten tippen. Wenn es euch gefallen hat, ein Abo und ein Like da lassen. Und wir sehen uns beim nächsten Mal wieder. Ciao und bis dann.